hard for one person to single-handedly win a baseball game, but without Ken Griffey Jr. in the lineup, Cincinnati would have left Dodger Stadium with a loss. Outstanding pitching game by both Jose Acevedo and Eric Gagne. Gagne made one mistake and it came in the second inning to Sean Casey. Casey, solo home run to right field, his first since June 24th, 11th on the season, 1-0, the Reds were out in front. The Dodgers would tie it up in the third against Acevedo. Mark Grushelonic on an 0-2 pitch, lines a two-out single to center, nodding the game up at one. But later in the third, two on, two out for Sean Green, Acevedo gets him swinging, and as he hops off the mound, Green, not liking it, giving him a glare and a few words. When the two faced off against one another again in the fifth, it looked like Green had gotten the best of Acevedo. Drive to deep left center field, but Ken Griffey Jr. rescues his rookie hurler, taking a home run away from Sean Green with an incredible catch against the wall in center. Game stayed 1-1 going into the 11th. Ruben Rivera doubles over the head of Marquise Grissom, who misjudged the ball. Junior, who had drawn a walk, motors around third, looks like he's a dead duck at the plate. But Chad Kruder drops the ball, Griffey hurdles over him, and he scores what turns out to be the game-winning run. The Reds add one more in the 11th for the 3-1 victory. Reds pitchers retired 21 of the final 22 Dodger hitters they faced. After Jose Acevedo threw seven excellent innings, Scott Sullivan and Danny Graves each turned in two perfect frames of relief. Graves walked away with the W. Anything short of a 40-game winning streak won't get playoff tickets printed in Cincinnati. But five wins in a row sure has made Reds baseball fun to watch again. The Reds put together five straight wins twice during the month of April. But until the last two weeks, everything surrounding this ball club since that first month of the season has been an absolute disaster. Cincinnati erupted for its highest hit total of the season last night in Los Angeles. But it took a few innings for the Reds to get going. The Dodgers jumped out to a 3-0 lead against rookie Lance Davis, who was in search of his fourth straight win. Dimitri Young turned a Sean Green triple into an adventure for L.A. during a three-run third. After blanking the Reds through the first four, things fell apart for Terry Adams in the fifth. Following a pokey Reese double, Davis tried to move him up a base, but after bunning through strike three on a wild pitch, Davis found himself on first. That was a big moment of what turned out to be a five-run inning for Cincinnati. Todd Walker followed with a double that scored Pokey. The Reds' leadoff hitter had three hits on the game and is batting 340 since coming over in the Alex Ochoa trade two weeks ago. Next batter, Adam Dunn. And Dunn snapped out of an 0-for-12 skid with a first-inning infield single. A two-run double to right tied the contest at three apiece. The rookie slugger now has nine RBI since his call-up from Louisville. Well, the Reds were far from being finished. Sean Casey singled to center, brought Dunn around, and moved the Reds in front by a score of 4-3. After Aaron Boone was adding another hit, Jim Tracy forced a dip into his bullpen. Giovanni Carrara didn't fare any better. The first batter he faced, Dimitri Young, singles home Casey. Aaron Boone would be gunned out at third right there, but Cincinnati had posted a five-run frame to take control of the contest. Dimitri Young had been in a 5-for-36 slump before last night's game. Dimitri erupting for three hits, including a two-run single in the seventh that chased home Junior and Casey. It was the Reds' fourth straight single against L.A. reliever Terry Mulholland, who was acquired from Pittsburgh before Tuesday's trade deadline. Still in the seventh, Todd Walker brings home two more Reds to give the Cincinnati Reds a 9-3 advantage. The Reds had 20 hits in the contest, but until the eighth, they were still lacking one long ball. Ken Griffey Jr. took care of that right there. A solo blast to center. Junior's ninth of the season, and the Reds had the number, winning number, five in a row with a 10-5 win over the Dodgers. The top six batters in the Reds' order all had multiple hit games. Three hits for both Young and Walker. Aaron Boone went four for five at the plate. His average is up to 313 on the season after a scalding month of July. Lance Davis didn't allow a walk over six innings and in winning his fourth straight start. He is the first rookie to accomplish that since the legendary Tim Pugh did it in 1992. Let's go inside the numbers. While Alex Ochoa had good ones when he left, the Adam Dunn numbers are better. And I'm not talking about the individual ones. As you can see, the wins and losses are very, very good. Since the trade, the Reds are 8-3 and three and scoring more than two runs more per game. And the Playboy founder Hugh Hefner and six of his playmates were seated behind home plate during last night's game. Don't think the guys didn't notice the half dozen blondes just nine rows away. 
Single guy Aaron Boone joked after the game, his mind was elsewhere for a couple of innings, but he was concentrating on baseball in the second. Boone gives the Reds a 1-0 lead with home run number 13. One batter later, Jason LaRue clubs number 9. Oh, the force was not with L.A. starter Luke Prokopek last night at Dodger Stadium. 2-0 Cincinnati. Solo home run number three came just one inning later in the third. Ken Griffey Jr. goes the other way for his 10th long ball of the season. Second straight night, the junior went deep. Three home runs in three innings. The Reds were only halfway home. Fourth inning, Dimitri Young ends the run of solo shots with a two-run blast. 5 nothing Cincinnati, and Prokopek would be finished after giving up four home runs in four innings. When Dimitri returned to the plate in the sixth against Giovanni Carrara. He turns and burns the former Red pitcher. The first two home run game of Dimitri Young's career. He wasn't the only guy to visit Homerville twice. Jason LaRue closed the scoring with his second bomb of the night. Six home runs for Cincinnati, one for every Playboy Bunny in attendance. The Reds get win number six in a row, 7-4 over the Dodgers. Elmer Descends wins his second consecutive start and evens his record on the season at 8-8. Eight and eight. Danny Graves earns save number 19. Junior's home run was number 448 in his career. He needs to hit two more homers before August 24th and become the youngest player to reach 450. Hall of Famer Jimmy Fox currently holds that distinction.